So it's Friday evening. I just wrapped up work. I already did my hair, my makeup, for outfit. Ow, 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 ow. Ow. What the fuck? Friday evening, typically, I don't do anything. By the end of the work week, I am like so done. Plus, Friday is our YouTube upload day. I would say almost every week. Thursday is when I wouldn't say I pull a true all-nighter. Like last night, I slept for only three hours to finish the video and upload this video. I'll put it up on the cards here. But today is an exception. I'm meeting up with my sister and her friends for Korean barbecue. We're going to Koreatown. And also for this week, Chape is with Patisha. Most likely, I will be picking him up on Sunday or maybe Wednesday. We haven't figured that out yet. There might be no Chape content for this vlog just wanted to give you guys heads up before we officially start the vlog it's a very casual ootd for today and i'll talk to you guys in a bit Hey guys, if you're new here, my name is Disha and I moved to New York City beginning of this year. I am 33 years old and here I document my average life living in New York City doing just regular things. It started to rain. I don't have an umbrella. I'm wearing a white top. Let's go. We are late. Our reservation is at 6. <laughs> to Soho right now. I finally booked an appointment to get a haircut. I think my last haircut was like a year ago. So the haircut that I really want, I don't think so I will be able to maintain. You've probably seen it all over in Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. It's like those curtain bangs, layers on the side. And when you give blow dry your hair, it gives like the 90s blow dry look. My hair is curly and wavy. So I don't think so that will work for my hair. It will work, but I just have to be very vigilant with styling my hair. Because right now, the style I do is just basic curls. I don't even section my hair properly, and I just use the wand and curl it, and that's it. And then I straighten the top. Very, very low maintenance. Maybe I'm thinking instead of getting curtain bangs, I will just get face framing cuts around here and then just add layers to my hair. And at one point I was debating if I should even get a bob. Because back in my 20s, I used to have a bob cut. And after that, I got balayage. So I'll put the pictures here. But with all the wedding coming up, so I have my friend's wedding in summer. And then I have my sister's wedding in October. I don't really want to experiment with my hair because I have done that in the past and every time when I do it, it comes out so bad. And right after that, I'm going out for dinner. That one we haven't figured out yet. This would be my... Is it the sixth or seventh date? Oh, this would be my seventh with the same guy that I have been going out dates in the previous vlog. I need to change and go. I haven't even had my breakfast yet. This is my outfit for today. Feels like a picnic blanket. And the back is like this. chance to show you guys my hair but I think it came out so good I got face framing layers on the front so actually one of my friends had recommended the salon and the hairstylist as well her name is Abigail I really like her I'm definitely 
I'm definitely coming back. You know, with the haircut, I feel like a different person right now. Like, I just feel so much lighter right now. Not just like my head, but just in general. Plus, I'm just feeling very grateful to today. Past few days, I've just been feeling very grateful, thankful, just so happy to be here. Friday night and last night combined, Saturday combined, I had a total of six hours of sleep. I know I keep saying it in almost all my videos, but my insomnia, it's been really bad. I don't know what to do about it. I am so tired. To be honest, this is not sustainable. If I don't take control of this, I think this could lead to burnout, which I don't want to get to that point. So far, I'm, I'm doing fine right now. My anxiety is not bad, but I know lack of sleep also impacts anxiety. So that's one thing I need to keep on check. Because so far right now, I'm, I'm doing fine, but that's something I just need to be mindful about. So right now, I am getting ready to go out on a brunch with two of my girlfriends. You have met both of them in my previous vlog. So Chani and Sushma, they're both Nepali. And I met Chani through work eight nine years ago and then i met sushma through chadni so we're going to an indian restaurant for brunch so while i get ready for brunch i thought i'll give you guys an update on the apartment as well after following up with the management they responded back and they told me that they will not be reducing my rent by a month what they mentioned was if there are any open issues to let her know and then she'll work with her team to get it fixed and then i followed up with them about the mold as well so the same building management who came twice previously he stopped by unannounced like when my super comes unannounced i'm fine i like my super so i'm fine with it but when he comes unannounced especially during a work day it like pisses me off and it's bad on my part for not drawing that boundary saying that you guys need to let me know beforehand especially on a work day when he came he really pissed me off so this is the guy who said he has a lot of experience with mold because he suffered through mold in his personal life and based on his experience he does not smell any mold or anything as such when he walked in he was trying to like joke around but i was not in a mood to joke he was like when he opened the door he's like i thought you're gonna be like a very good tenant or i didn't realize you were such trouble i don't remember exactly what he said but it was in line to that and that pissed me off <laughs> I just find him to be a bit condescending. I'm just not a big fan of him. When we started the discussion, he was kind of putting the blame on me. When I was talking about all the issues, apartment being dirty and then the cockroach issue and everything, he was asking me if I saw the apartment before I moved in or not. And I said, like, yes, I saw the apartment twice, but I wouldn't be aware about all these issues until I move in. You can't say that just because I saw the apartment. It's my fault <laughs> second thing he said was probably i did not do the mold test correctly i don't think so i've shared the updated pictures this is the one i sent it to them when i followed up for the instruction i have to get two mold kits so one to place it on the inside and the other one to place it outside and if the mold on the inside is more compared to the outside that's when the issue is however when i looked up online and also in the comments people said just doing indoor is fine as well like for example, some people have mold in their AC unit or some people have mold in their basement. How can they do inside and outside when it's in a basement, right? So based on the comments, I just ended up doing indoor mold testing. I did use two kits because initially I was planning to do outdoor and indoor. So when he read the instructions, he said I did not do it correctly. Before I run late, let me finish my makeup and then I'll catch up with you guys about this whole thing. I forgot to mention earlier, what he mentioned was that if he really thought it was an issue, he would have moved me to a different unit. And what I told him was that if the test comes back positive, then I wouldn't be moving to a different unit. I would be breaking my lease because I told him I am done. I am done dealing with all of this, all of this. So they finally agreed 
to do a test after months and that also just the home depot one and that was a week ago i haven't followed up about it because i really want to know what my options are so this is my otd for today i love wearing white sneakers with dresses just comfortable to walk around the city and then at the same time i think it looks super cute with it dresses and everything and then i'm wearing my big hoop earrings as usual and then a heart choker so i didn't get a chance to give you guys the entire update so the reason why i haven't followed up right now is i really want to understand what my options are and rights so i called 311 so they routed me to the housing court and in the housing court they told me i have two options one is to file as a repair case or monetary case i believe I so one. with the repair case it can be a small case as in let's say the landlord did not fix the main door or something like that i don't really want to go through that route and when i had asked about my rights if if i don't pay my rent let's say for a month either at the end when my lease is about to end or if i stop paying the rent until they address the mold issue what they told me was that they don't recommend that because i've signed a contract with them and according to the contract i'm obligated to pay the rent however she routed me to the tenant helpline when i call the helpline it's basically just a voicemail where i have to drop my phone number and they'll call me so i called them twice i dropped my phone number but they haven't called me yet i crossed one sheet early i'm so not used to public vlogging i'm gonna call the tenant helpline again this week and see what my options are i really wish i knew someone personally who is a lawyer just to talk about these things and understand what my rights are oh and i forgot to mention so if i do as a repair case for that one she said i could do the mold as a repair case all the previous issue like the apartment being dirty or like the pest issue that one can't be part of the case but i can use that as supporting proof that the landlord has been negligent i think i missed the restaurant uh oh okay okay i see it now <laughs> chadi i love your dress converse converse I'm sipping on Gatorade. If it wasn't for this, I think I would have passed out by now already. After placing the wallpaper on the door, I just feel like the fridge will be easy peasy. And you know, sometimes when you're like overconfident, it kind of backfires. So hopefully it doesn't happen that today. I hope at the end of it, I don't hate myself for starting a new DIY project this late on a Sunday night. It's 7.51 a.m. right now. Not a.m. <laughs> 7.51 p.m. I forgot to mention in the last week's vlog. Remember there was a fire safety sign over here that I took it off. I currently have placed it over here. Right behind my bedroom door. So I'm not planning to do anything on this door. If I ever decide to do, it would be on the front side of the door, not the back side. And when I'm ready to move, I will remove the wallpaper and then place the safety sign back where it belongs. I 
am so annoyed right now. So initially when I started placing the wallpaper, I started from this curved side. And now when I think about it, I should have started from this side first because it would have been easier to lay it. Beside that, a lot of bubbles here. I don't know why. I wasn't able to remove it. And since I was taking out the wallpaper so many times. So this side got stretched a little bit, which I do think I can still make it work. This side also got stretched out because I kept removing the wallpaper to fix it. It's just a very, very sloppy job. For far, I think it looks fine. But when I come close, you'll see like the bubbles. Right now, I am so annoyed. And I think it's just best to just do this next weekend. Because right now, I'm really tired. I went on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. This is what happens when you're overconfident, you know? I wasn't that confident about the door and the door came out so well, but with this one, another lesson learned beside the placement of the wallpaper is to start small. Because I thought since this is just a flat surface, I should be able to place the wallpaper without any issue. So I took out the back part. Once you take it out, that's when it exposes the sticky part. I took out the back part from a big chunk instead of taking it out slowly so that the sticky part gets exposed slowly i don't know if i'm making sense or not but for the door that's what i had done i had slowly worked my way down i really wanted to end the vlog with a happy note like finishing up the diy project but you know that's how life is things never go as expected but i do hope you guys enjoy coming along with me and if you enjoy the video don't forget to like and subscribe and support the channel whenever you interact with the video either it could be sharing the video like comment it signals youtube algorithm to push out the video to a larger audience if you have an instagram my instagram is tisha shrestha and i will see you guys in the next one